what are three ways that clinicians can be part of policy change that will impact this opioid crisis? Whether or not you want to get involved in policy depends a lot on your interest values and your time. There is no excuse needed if someone says, what I want to do is take care of people who are suffering all day long. You're like, God bless you. That's fantastic. But let's say you do have that interest. First thing I would say is that what makes you special is you have more knowledge than most people because you've actually taken care of this patient population. Inventorying out what is exactly that I know, and that is going to be your ticket of entry into policy. Then you need to build alliances. You're not going to change the world. One person is just not going to do it. And by the way, even the president by him or herself cannot change the country uh, by themselves. But you can do a lot of things in alliance. And there's different ways to do that. You can work through your university. Most universities work on advocacy on a range of issues, including health. You can work through your professional association. That's often the best way. And then if you really are crazy like myself, you can also jump into the fray on your own. That's a big decision. It will take away from other activities. I, for example, I, I left Sanford for a year and worked for President Obama. And if someone really has that motivation, it could be an extremely meaningful experience that shapes the rest of their career in, in positive ways.